So we have to said, let's look at this application. Two root five plus root one two five minus root forty five plus four. This is equivalent. Okay. Good. Equivalent equal. Evaluate this. That's what is first. That is two root five. Now give me the factors here. So 25 times what? 5. That is 9 times what? 5. Get a perfect square and, and a non-perfect square, okay? Equivalent. That is equal. It's tantamount to an equal to sign. Uh, that is 2 root 5. 5 root 5. Minus 3 root 5 because root 9 can be obtained, okay? Plus 4. Equivalent. Now all these sets are compatible. So I have 2 plus 5 minus 3. So 2 plus 5. They are compatible sets. Are you okay? Minus 3. Then I factor just this. Okay? A plus B root what? C. Okay. I can't add the 4 to this, right? Because the 4 has no roots, okay? So that is 4 root 5 plus 4. Equivalent A plus B root what? C. Now, you can see 4 plus 4 is 8. It's not accepted. So what can you see here? By rearrangement, you can see that you have this. Who was free? A. Agreed? Who was closely attached to the root? B. Who was in the root? C. That's it. Okay, so we're told. Evaluate 2A minus B, right? Then, 2A minus B is equal to... So, to whatever I see, I chip in this, right? So, I'm going to get 8 minus what? 4. Answer is 4. Okay, so that is what we call rationalization of sets. The process of multiplying the denominator. The process of multiplying the denominator. By both the numerator and the denominator once again is known as rationalizing sets. Why do we rationalize sets? Let's look at something here. No answer in mathematics can look like this. It needs to be rationalized. It's in the denominator of a fractional answer cannot be a square root. The answer can be this. Okay? But not this. You understand? So when you see this, you need to rationalize. Now let's see. This is one of our roots. It cannot be an answer. So the process by which I multiply this denominator by the numerator, and that's why the denominator once again is called rationalization of sets. Now look at this. You agree? Double. So this is rationalization of sets. So you see questions where we have to what rationalize. So when you see answers like this, accept it. No answer can be in a fraction with a square root denominator. No. But I can have an answer like this. That's okay. It's not a it's not a, a fraction. Even if it's a fraction, it's standard on one. It's still accepted. You see that? But not the denominator square root beneath. Now let's look at it. I need to rationalize this. Good. What if I refuse to rationalize? Or I pretend as if I don't know that I have to watch rationalize. Let's see what will happen to me. Do you know that this work can be presented like this? They are all standard denominator called root 6. Are you aware? So I take LCM, agreed? Uh, that's it. Any normal students will be doing this. Root 6 into root 6, that's 1. By the 1 on top, agreed? Root 6 into root 6, that's 1. Times the 1 on top. When you do your LCM, this is what you are interested in. That's all. There is 1 root 6 or root 6 plus 1 over root 6. Right. You rationalize. You can't do away with it. Good. So, the best thing for me to do is to rationalize. Root 6 plus 1 root 6. So, this is root 6 plus 1 root 6. The process whereby I multiply this denominator by the numerator, and the denominator again is called what? rationalization of serves. Root 6 by root 6. Is root 6 all squared. So this is now 1 by root 6, right? 
Okay, this will give me times root 6. Agree? All over root 6 by root 6, that's root 6, all squared. Uh, this is a single 6 by root 6. Agree? This is a single 6. Oh, okay, that's a class here. Sorry, this is a class, right? Okay. That's, that's good again. I missed my step. So this is root 6 over what? Root 6. Now root 6 squared plus root 6. Good. Good. Yeah. Root 6 by root 6, that root 6 all what? Squared. Look at it. So this by that, that by that. Okay? So this is 1 root 6. That's what there for sweetie reasons. So what am I seeing here? I'm seeing 6 plus 1 root what? 6. All over our single 6. Now, this is the same as 6 root 6 over what? 6. Uh, 6 plus, oh, okay, there's a plus here, good. So 6 plus root 6 over what? 6. Now, this is the same as you writing this. Check whether you agree. You agree? But they all stand on one denominator. So this and this will give me what? One. Plus root six over what? Six. So this is the answer. So this is the question now. Negative or minus between two fractions. I have to do the LCM, right? So that's root two, LCM. Root two goes here one, times a one on top. Root 2 goes here, single 1, times a 1 on top. So when you do your LCM, that is what you are interested in. Right? So whatever I'm doing is equal to what you see here. 3 minus 1 all over root what? 2. This cannot be an answer in mathematics. It needs to be what? Rationalized. Okay? So this is 2 over what? Root 2. I need to rationalize this. Good. So I will now pick the denominator. And multiply it against the numerator and the denominator again. There is 2 root 2. Root 2 root 2 is root 2 all what? Squared. There is 2 root 2 over what? Single 2. The answer is what? Root 2. Good. Let's look at this. Now you have 3 over 4 with 1 to 8. You just have to get the factors to be used here. Let's go, 1 to 8. I showed you that you get punch 1 to 8. What do you get after punch 1 to 8? So you see, you get 8 root 2 when you punch on the calculator. Multiply this number by itself and take it inside. So the factors to be used will be 64 times 2. That's the trick to use. Okay? So you get this. Multiply the number outside by itself and take it inside. Those will be the factors to be used. Now, uh, what is this? This one, you get 5 root 2, right? After punching the calculator, 5, 5, 25. Take it inside. That will be what? 25 times what? 2. But if you think you can get those factors mentally, fine. You are welcome. Root 64 is 8. Agree? Root 2 cannot be obtained. This will go here too. So this will give me what? 6 root 2 minus 5 root what? 2. Now the sets are compatible sets. So 6 minus 5 or root what? 2. This will give me 1 root word 2. It's the same as root word 2. So that is our final question. Let's, let's see. So I have root 6. 2 root 6. Root 3. Q. You know this root 6. 2 root 2. That is root 3. By root 3. By root 3. Do you agree? Good. Now, this and this here will give me 2, 6 times 2. Agree? Root 3, root 3, root 3.
Now I'm saying two. Twelve. Row three. Row three. Row three. Good. Now, that twelve can still be opened up, right? I get a preference square by four by three. Agree? Row three. Row three. Row three. Now, root of four can be obtained. Two. Row three cannot be obtained. Row three. Row three. Row three. I see four row three. Row three. Row three. Row three. I see cancellation. That is four. Row three. Row three. I see double up concept here. Row three all squared. That is four by three. Now, that is the end of the topic called search.